listen love is not a feeling love is not emotion love can and should create feelings true love should create feelings don't get me wrong true love should create emotions we'll discuss that later without without emotions and without feelings you cannot be committed towards a person or a project I preach and we run this ministry and do what God is doing because much more than an instruction from God I'm emotionally connected to what I'm doing and therein lies my passion for the work I'm doing without feeling without emotion there is no basis for being passionate but love is not feeling are we together love can create feelings but it's not feelings we know from life and biology that feelings can be products of chemical reactions hormones feelings can be products of whatever it is all kinds of um, physiological things that happen within a human being that is the reason why love that is based on feelings should not be trusted is that true when you build your love life based on emotions and feelings you will never be able to sustain that's why many people do not have the strength to push a business idea to the end they say they love it because the idea reflected a positive emotion to them is that true and so they believe that they love the idea but then when another idea came to them higher and better than that one all of a sudden their loyalty to that idea went and it is easier for it to be a thing it is terrible when it becomes a person is that true we live in a world where our definitions of love are based on feelings so when you feel good about a person you say i love that person and for many of us now i say this with honor we have watched films we have been exposed to books and we have even been mentored by personalities who have been so inclined to emotions and the entire scope of their definition of love is that it must always give you a feeling a positive feeling and if for any reason the feeling is not positive then it is not love that is not an accurate teaching is God helping us so if I say come I love David Dam what for many of us are saying uh, what we are trying to say is that my sight of David Dam, it doesn't matter what parameters I put together to arrive at my idea of love what I'm attempting to say is that the presence of David Dam creates a positive emotional um, experience for me is that true and then i can be fooled into thinking that just because at the moment i felt positive about him i love him then tomorrow i now see another side of david dam that communicates an experience that does not go well with my idea of happiness is that true and all of a sudden i change my mind and say david dam i no longer love you remember that's what you did to the shirt you now throw in your house see how much you loved it when you bought it beautiful shirt my god and you wore it and you were happy something about that shirt made you feel happy and excited and you used the wrong word you called it love and now because the shirt began to fade or tear it started falling your hand and you no longer were confident about it because it no longer created that disposition confess right now what did you do to the shirt isn't it amazing how your attitude towards that shirt has changed you look at it in your wardrobe and have no pity for that shirt think of how much you were bargaining just a few months ago please reduce one thousand reduce five thousand and this is the shirt now but you said you loved the shirt remember when you dried it and for whatever reason you didn't find it 
you search who took my shirt but now the shirt is right there love what exactly is love feelings are always based i wrote something here feelings are temporary dispositions based on something we consider pleasant feelings write it down feelings are temporary dispositions based on something we consider pleasant about someone or an object so if david dam sings watch this i give david dam a mic and he has a beautiful voice now when he raises that voice his flawlessness his vocal discipline his artistry the ability to coordinate himself musically sounds pleasant to me that gives me a basis for feeling right about david dam is that correct and now i may be tempted to call that feeling love it remains love for as long as david dam is singing what if he's sleeping what is the name of the experience the difference between singing and snoring they all make sounds one is coordinated one is not so this, they are all coming out from the same person that's the interesting thing all coming out from the same personality now one is coordinated please understand what i'm teaching you and then it is pleasant to you and he becomes likable all of a sudden you are drawn emotionally based on something now most of us may not admit that that's what is drawing us is that true and then the person now snores for instance and then that experience does not go well with your disposition and you begin to lose that fervor our world is in danger of losing it if we do not understand what love is i foresee that if we do not know what love is many marriages will break many relationships will not even exist many businesses will never grow to be big enough many ministries many leaders will not be able to rise because of this mistake of feelings building anything on just feelings and emotion is a guarantee for failure and frustration please hear what i'm saying building anything at all just based on feelings and emotion is a guarantee for failure and frustration when you build a business on feeling when you build a relationship on feeling when you build marriage on feeling when you build your walk with god on feeling when you build your spiritual growth process on feeling that's what makes a lot of believers start feeling bad i used to feel the presence of god in a way when i'm about to climb the stage i feel that thing when i feel it i know god is there and right now i'm about to pray for sick people and i don't seem to feel it and they believe god is not there with me because we have been trained we don't ignore feelings but feeling is not love feeling has brought a lot of people into trouble there are marriages that are in trouble today because of the mistake of feeling listen carefully there are relationships today that are in shambles because of feeling there are businesses there are careers there are people today who are in geographic regions that they should never be ask them what happened they say i felt so there are people who should never be close to certain personalities there are people who should never be involved in certain businesses it's like an emotional rampage feelings they drive us up and down and so we begin to vacillate based on whatever disposition we have at the moment when a revelation sounds good to you ah this is wonderful and then you love the revelation so you say then the day you understand the gravity of that revelation and it does not go well with you you throw it away love is not feelings is god helping us there are many things in life that have capacity please look up 
There are many things in life that have capacity of creating positive emotional experiences for us. Looks can create that. You know that? When you see a guy or a lady or whatever individual or a thing, once it is good looking, it can create a positive experience for you. Education, when you see someone who is well learned, someone who has been able to acquire certifications of all kinds, they have a way of creating a positive disposition. Is that true? Um, appearance, when you see someone looking sharp and looking nice, beautiful and handsome. When I stepped in and I saw our worship team, they were all looking gorgeous, wonderful people. Right from outside, I saw our ushers too. They were looking beautiful. I had a positive disposition towards them. Are you following me now? Orientation. When you see someone who is exposed, vast, intelligent, he has a great command of his intellect, well-developed understanding about several aspects of life. And the person has an opportunity to articulate his understanding before you. Naturally, naturally, you will be drawn towards the person. There are other things like wealth, finances, finances have the capability of creating pleasant experiences why because they are able to be exchanged for a solution you desire you can exchange money for a solution that you desire could be medically could be spiritually you can use money to buy a bible you can use money to move from being a tenant to a landlord it can give you a lot of options godliness and spirituality when you find out that someone has a very high level of understanding with God, that disposition can cause pleasantness. But none of those things in themselves equate to love. Is God helping us? Because you see, many of our marriages, many of our relationships, many of our businesses are hinged on physical things that were pointed out and used as references to mean what we call today love so when you meet the gentleman and say why do you love this lady he says because she is beautiful or because she has character or because she did whatever it is why do you love this gentleman he says he's responsible he loves god doesn't run around he's well cultured and he's visionary those things look very sincere and they are but that's not love are we together why do you love this intelligent entrepreneur oh this guy is very sharp his business acumen is sound the result he has has to show for it why do you love this course you are studying i love it because i was told there is an opportunity there i love it because my father tried to study it and it didn't work now you think that those things mean love they are positive don't get me wrong but they are wrong foundations for love because if your foundation is based on those things there will be serious trouble how many of you have seen an old man and an old woman maybe the old woman maybe 65 to 70 years and her old husband is wrinkled sitting on a wheelchair and you see them hold their hands and say we love ourselves talk to me intelligent people we feel emotionally drawn to ourselves is that what you believe they are saying it couldn't be we make a fool of ourselves because of the impulsive nature of our lives which has been a derivative of our idea about love that every time i have a positive disposition towards a thing or a person then I love the thing or the person. And whenever that positive feeling is not there, we now say, I do not love the person. That's not God's idea. That's not the definition of love. Hallelujah. Hmm. The Bible says those that God loves, he chastises. How do you, how do you equate chastening with love?
impulsive marriages impulsive businesses impulsive relationships impulsive career pathways and all these mood swings that come in life are products of dependence on feelings to make destiny decisions there are people i remember talking to a lady one or was it a gentleman one day and he came and met me said i want to read a course i said why he said because i like the name that's exactly what we're talking about are we together chemical engineering <laughs> architecture neurosurgeon aeronautic engineer you know so the name is, is is charismatic and we do not understand the gravity of what is involved and we subscribe for things that we start regretting from day one is that true many people have been whipped by the sad reality that they were not ready for what they subscribed for this happens in relationships it happens in businesses listen if you listen to what i'm teaching you tonight i promise you you will walk out here happy and you will live happy as far as relationships are concerned feelings can be deceptive and are not an accurate measure of love write it down feelings can be deceptive feelings all kinds feelings can be deceptive and are not an accurate measure of love as any married man and married woman as any mother and her children as every father and the children as any leader and his subordinates they will tell you that if you depend on feelings as an index to measure love you will be deceived many times there are times that you are having the greatest manifestation of the presence of god in your life and you will not feel nothing but at those times your relationship and work with god are to incredible proportions but because you have programmed yourself into believing that because you felt his presence and he shook your body that meant you were receiving an impartation how many people walk out of miracle services angry because they did not have a feeling they expected to fall down is the noise maker who was sitting close to them that was not even prepared in his spirit who was falling up and down and they go back feeling pained and disappointed and say lord you mean you watch me like this fasting i didn't even break and this guy who was gossiping and making noise from praise and worship he was already on the ground we convinced ourselves that because there was no feeling that accompanied your experience that your senses could relate with you didn't receive anything is the reason why many people don't get filled with the holy spirit because they are waiting for feelings feelings can be deceptive and are not an accurate measure of love are feelings wrong no are emotions wrong no but our society many of you seated today looking at me are depending on a feeling to show you your wife you are depending on a feeling to show you your husband you are depending on a feeling to love your wife if you're married or a feeling to love your husband you are depending on a feeling to serve god you are depending on a feeling to believe that you are loved in your department you are you are depending on a feeling feelings are deceptive very deceptive.